Often pegged as one of the most beautiful provinces, Nova Scotia is experiencing a population boom. The province's population recently topped the 1 million mark, with many younger people moving out of Ontario to this maritime province. So what does Nova Scotia have that's lacking elsewhere? For starters, the scenery is breathtaking, and many people seem drawn to a simpler lifestyle. Another reason is the endless outdoor opportunities. So with all this in mind, which cities top the list? After doing extensive research, these are my choices for the best places to live in Nova Scotia. So here is the list of the six best places to live in Nova Scotia, Canada. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Halifax is the largest and the capital city of Nova Scotia. It is also the economic center of Atlantic Canada. Halifax has long been Canada's important port, particularly for immigrants with Halifax's Pier 2 converted to an immigrant museum. As an economic hub for Nova Scotia, the quality of life in Halifax is quite high with household income averaging $87,877, above the country's average. Housing is affordable with a two-bedroom apartment costing $1,109 to rent. Other features that make Halifax one of the best cities to live in Canada include low property tax, availability of jobs with the government as the main employer, and a safe and clean environment. Number 2. Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Cape Breton is the second largest city in Nova Scotia and the economic center of the island. Cape Breton is among the Cape Breton Island that is detached from the rest of the region and mainland Canada by the Strait of Canso. Cape Breton has about 132,010 Cape Bretoners, the city is prominent for its outstanding natural landscape and safe environment. Cape Bretoners have access to outdoor recreational facilities both on land and at sea. One of the peaks of the city is the prominent companies surrounding the city, which has attracted people from different spheres of life. The major occupation in Cape Breton is coal mining, which has so far provided residents with a quality life. Number 3. New Glasgow, Nova Scotia. New Glasgow is a town in Pictou County located on the banks of the East River of Pictou. So far, New Glasgow has developed into a warm and adaptable place to live in. It offers both the urban and country life experience to both residents and visitors. With a population of over 9,075 residents, New Glasgow offers its residents numerous job prospects, quality education, and lifestyle. Glasgow is the commercial hub of northeastern Nova Scotia housing prominent stores like Sobeys, Shoppers Drug Mart, Staples, Sears, The Bricks, and Canadian Tire. Also, there are gift shops, furniture store restaurants, pubs, and cabarets running in New Glasgow. There are five prominent schools in New Glasgow, which include three primary elementary schools, a junior high school, and a high school. Number 4. Truro, Nova Scotia. Truro is one of the provinces located at the heart of Nova Scotia. Aside from being an ideal place to call home, one of the pecs of Truro is that it is a great place for business opportunities. Also known as the hub of Nova Scotia, Truro is home to roughly 12,500 residents. Aside from business, Truro also provides its residents with recreational and sporting facilities such as Victoria Park, special events and festivals. Prominent sporting activities in Truro include ice hockey, soccer, baseball, and lacrosse. Truro also offers quality education and healthcare facilities to both locals and visitors. There are also affordable mortgage and insurance plans for residents to ease their affairs, coupled with low-tax properties. Number 5. Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. The small town with big city amenities that's Lunenburg. This port town was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, meaning it's a solid example of a British colonial settlement in North America. 
It keeps its original layout and even some of the past wooden architecture. With only 25,000 residents, Lunenburg isn't a big metropolis. However, there's still plenty to do. There are a variety of art galleries scattered throughout the city, as well as many restaurants, cafes, and festivals during the year. The town is home to Canada's second-largest fish processing plant, a large area employer. In addition, there is a large percentage of healthcare workers and sales and service attendants. Number 6. Amherst, Nova Scotia. Amherst is situated at the northeastern end of the Cumberland Basin, which is an arm of the Bay of Fundy. It is the commercial center of Cumberland County. The town has several businesses including Walmart, Giant Tiger, and Canadian Tire. The majority of the over 9,000 people living in Amherst are employed in these businesses. However, unemployment remains a challenge to some of the residents due to the high, 10%, unemployment rate. Despite the challenges of unemployment, the median household income has been maintained above $60,000. The cost of renting a two-bedroom apartment in Amherst is $800 while those with property in the town pay a property tax of only 1%. The last word. So guys, these are the best places to live in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. If you're looking for the best places to live in Nova Scotia, Canada, you've come to the right place. Nova Scotia is home to over 1 million people and is among the four Atlantic regions in Canada. It's located on the east coast of Canada and consists of over 3,800 coastal islands and mainlands. Nova Scotia is a mix of urban-rural landscapes. Halifax is the largest and capital city of Nova Scotia with over 400,000 people. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then this is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.